Hey everyone, Dan McMaravich here in the South Bend office, uh, media office for Newbart Industries and really happy to be with my good friend James Rios here down in our home office in Houston, Texas. James, how are we doing today? Good, good, Dan. How are you, sir? Doing great, doing great. We are, I'm looking forward to today's episode. We got some really good content that I think is going to happen and, um, you know, Car, as a car owner, it's uh, I'm one of those guys who likes to look uh, pretty much at the surface level of things because I'm not super mechanically inclined when it comes to cars. But knowing that I have someone who can get under the hood and know what's going on under the hood, and especially now with all the computers that are involved in, in, in cars these days, it's great to have that confidence of a trusted advisor. We're gonna dig in a little deeper under the kind of the under the hood at what makes these things, these IDs that we are are part of that we uh, represent, what makes them so great under the hood. So we'd love to hear a little bit more about uh, our ID solutions, and then we'll dig in a little bit more. So talk to us. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. So and thank you very much. So I mean, and that you know, Dan hit it right on on the head. You know, that's the the main point. You know, why so many people choose Newbart. And it's you know, honestly because, you know, it, the, the ID market in general, the software, you know, it's, uh, th there's a lot of steps. And, you know, as far as uh, the car design goes and the data and inputting data, exporting reports, you know, all of those things, you know, th it begins to be a lot of information, which is, you know, why it's so important to go with Newbart because we take the time, even this morning, a few schools already, you know, we're, we're remoting in and helping them make some changes or helping them with an issue or with a question and we're able to take care of it right away. Fantastic, yeah, in having that, uh, especially in a, in a pinch or when there, there is a problem, and knowing that you've got someone you can call that you can get uh, on the line with real quickly is is super important to keep you up and running and, and things effective. So that's really great. Now, so as we have IDs and, and so many organizations, schools and military, different places have IDs and corporations have IDs, I it's um, it's part of our effectiveness because you know we're getting into uh, whether they let us into rooms, whether they are ch helping us check into different places, uh, lunches, all the different functions that a great ID uh, system can have. We need to make sure that we are set up properly. And I think one of the best things that we offer is is this whole idea of having a, a computerized solution that's customizable. So we've got. Uh, can, you, can you get us under the hood, as I mentioned earlier, maybe under, under the hood a little bit more as to what it looks like uh, to program these things? And I, I think you've got some information that you wanted to share with us. Absolutely. So if you take a look, I'm going to share my screen right now, Dan. Um, can you see it there for the Assure ID? Sure can. Looks good. All right. So and right now what we did is just a basic school template uh, just to kind of go over, you know, the data the database view of, you know, inputting all the information on these cards while you're creating them. So we have a few here um, that has, you know, the different columns, you know, your photo, first name, last name, grade, student ID, and then there's some default databases we put for print count and print date. Um, and then you can see the preview over here on the right. So I, I guess the first thing and what we've been doing a lot this fall is just uh, importing data. So I spent a lot of time doing that. Um, so when you go here to the database, you're able to go to import next. And then, you know, th that's the big thing we're asking everyone, you know, when you're inputting data, you know, if you have it in the CSV, CSV file, comma separated values, um, ready to go. And then we're able to select it here, go to desktop, click the file that has all of your data. And then it's simply just matching them up right here. So we had first name, first name, add, last name, last name, add, we'll add the grade, and we'll add the ID number as well. So then from your student information system or, you know, for a business, you know, uh, their list of, you know, from HR, um, we can import, a, a, however big or small the list is, we can import quickly. That way you're not having to do it all manually. So we'll hit next, and then we're going to just update because we already have existing data, next and begin import. And so this one, we have 335 uh, people that were in that CSV file. So it only takes us a few minutes, but in a second here, you'll be able to see all of that information that we just inputted right here in the software. 
So then it's all right here. Fantastic. So, and then just, you know, very simple things that we've done too, you know, even for schools too, if you see here on the side, you look at the preview for the ninth grade, it's green. And then if we go down to the 10th, it changes then to blue. You go to the 11th and you can see me there and you got the, uh, the yellow and then, you know, 12th, it's the purple. So but it, everything on, on these IDs right here, the design part, we can customize however, you know, the customer would need. But as far as the data goes, that's a, the fastest and simplest way that we import it. And then um, the next thing I wanted to review real quick was just, you know, how to search. So once you have all the information there, you're able to use this filter right here, the quick filter. And then as a student comes up, you're able to ask them, you know, either their name, their first or last name, you can search that way, or if they know their ID number, they come up 11637 and you hit OK, and then they're going to pop up. The one note I want to make sure that, you know, we remember, though, because it never fails. I'll have someone call freaking out, you know, where's all my data? It's all gone. All I see is one person. Always remember to hit clear filter. <laughs> so you hit clear filter, and then everyone comes back. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. And, and I think when you've a searchable function like this and allowing uh, administrators, uh, uh, HR, to be able to find people quickly and then to be able to uh, edit that information. And, and I love the fact that it's so customizable to be able to provide uh, you know, solutions for any given application. And I think that's the best part about what Newbart brings to, to the industry is the fact that this, this customization and everything from you know, even our, our lanyards that we provide and, and the, uh, all the, the peripherals that kind of go around it as well. So fantastic stuff. Now, uh, I just if there's any issues that specifically do run come across, if there is a, a specifically a glitch, maybe there's some information, there's maybe something that they just don't understand, doesn't work right, how are they contacting us again? Our website, newbartid.com, and then of course, you know, uh, here on, on Facebook too, you can reach us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, and then, you know, of course, you know, call us or email us, sales at newbart. There's several ways of contacting us, you know, and that's the beauty of it. And especially, just like Dan said, you know, really being able to customize the product the way the customer needs, which allows me as a, you know, a, you know, an account manager, you know, dealing with the customers, it really allows us to dig in and listen to each of the customers' unique needs. You know, what, what do they want out of their ID system? How do they want it to interact and use it? And we're able to customize it however fits their specific needs. Fantastic. Well, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. James, thanks for your time today. Uh, another valuable lesson, hopefully. Uh, and if you are in need and you want to get in contact with us, please check us out on social media. You know where, where we're at, located again on Facebook. And of course, uh, Newbart ID and uh, our website. We'd love to have you guys uh, contact us and uh, for further information. Thanks for your time again today, James. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks, Dan.